anybody want to see my two highest airflow machines in my collection currently go through a two cycle 10 gram baking soda test on my medium pile carpet I know I certainly do I can't wait to see some really really high numbers hopefully let's start out with the blown out Kirby bag and I'm gonna call that at 63.64 grams and let's see what we have for the royal bag so it might be a little hard to see oh good you can see it I'm seeing 85.6 what 85.61 yeah that's it 85.61 So, fair warning, this machine is extremely loud. gotta figure out now what this thing weighs. Excitement builds. I'm dying to know what it managed to pick up. can see that it's probably a little tough okay so we are at 92.47 I'll call it there minus 85.61 and yes at the moment we have a new record that would translate to 60 well 68.6 let's make it 69% now to be fair we know that this thing is somewhat of a carpet shredder and even though I haven't done a two cycle carpet shred test I've done a 10 cycle carpet shred test so probably we should track see we should subtract something like eh, maybe two percent from this but either case about 69 percent you want to subtract a couple of percentage points from it to make it like say maybe 67 percent that still literally breaks uh, any records to date for this two cycle fine dust test well the Avalier is still going to be loud it's not going to be royal loud but it's still going to be loud
I say this bag system is a little easier to deal with than others. Okie dokie. Now let's see what the Avalier measures. Excitement builds yet again. What will the Avalier be able to pick up? Okay, I'm going to call it at 69.65, then I'm going to subtract 63.64, and we have about 60.1%. Now with the Avalier, eh, it's not as harsh as what the, uh, what the Royal was for the um, dry pass test. So you might subtract 1% from this, or possibly just leave it at zero. But the Royal, in this particular case, definitely beat the, the Avalier by, well, something statistically significant. Um, even if I were to take off, let's say, 2% for the Royal, taking it down to 67, and even leave the Avalier at zero, we're still looking at, realistically, about a 7% difference between these two machines. So let's sum this up. Make no mistake, both of these machines get two big thumbs up. They're both absolutely fantastic, and they both uh, break barriers that haven't been broken to date until now with the two-cycle fine dust test. So I took a look at my spreadsheet, and I looked at what these two machines do with 10 cycles of fine dust. And what's so interesting is the Royal and the Kirby reverse themselves when you get out to 10 full cycles. So in two cycles, the Royal leads the Kirby by about, say, 9%. And in 10 cycles, the Kirby, the Avalier, leads the Royal by 6%. So what that tells me is this machine's in a great hurry to pick up the dust as quickly as possible. But as the number of cycles rise, the machine kind of limits out and says, I can't pick up anymore. And with the Avalier, it keeps picking up and picking up and picking up. And at some point in time, it continues to pick up a little bit more than the Royal does. But that's only after you go over the carpet many more times. So then I looked at my spreadsheet in a different tab again. And I said, I wonder, is there any machine out there that I've tested that, say, equals what these machines can do in two passes, but the lesser machine I want to compare with has to do it in ten? And I found one. So way back years ago, I tested this DC-25, and of course, I extracted stuff from the bin. I'm not uh, saying or making any kind of claim that, you know, in the entire machine or the entire bin that there wasn't more fine dust in there. Just extracting it from the bin itself, this DC-25 got 60%, but in 10 cycles. The Avalier did about 60%, but it did it in two cycles. So that's the same amount of dirt, but literally five times faster. That's pretty amazing. So did I come up with a machine that I could match up with the Royal? Well, yes I did, but it's not my machine. So I will have to
I will have to go back in my videos and pull out a picture of Thomas's Shark NV650. And it actually did 69% fine dust extracted from the bin where in 10 cycles, whereas the Royal did it five times faster. So that should put a fine point on how great these two machines actually are. Well, that is the Royal and the Avalier, of course. little bump never hurt anybody. So thanks for watching and uh, I hope you really enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more.